Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. We are in the process of creating a blogger theme from scratch and uh, we have already completed the design of the desktop and the mobile version. Now in this video, I'll just show you the basics of a blogger theme and how it is set up. So this is just a basic understanding of a blogger template. So let's get started. So first of all, let me show you the design that we currently have. This is the desktop version of our website. This is the hero section. Then we have these blog posts. And uh, then we have popular posts and the contact us and then the footer. And we also have this search icon over here. And when we click on that, we get this search bar. And this is the mobile version of our website. So we have some changes in the structure. And we also have this menu icon and when we click on that we get this navigation menu for the mobile version so we have designed all this from scratch in the previous set of tutorials so if you're watching this for the first time you can go ahead and view all the previous videos I will leave the link of the playlist in the description below all right so in this video we will take a look at the basics of a blogger theme so first of all you have to go to the blogger.com website so the first thing you need to have is a Google account or a Gmail account. So just sign in using your uh, Gmail account. All right, I have just signed in and uh, this is one of my previous blogs. So if you don't have any blogs, you may get a button over here to create a new blog. If you already have some blogger website, then one of them will be selected and you will have these posts over here. All right, now let's go ahead and create a new blog. So click on this icon and here you'll find a list of all your blogs. So just scroll down and at the bottom you will find a button called new blog. So just click on that. Now the first thing is you need to name your blog. So we'll just name it learning theme development and then click on next. And then here you can set an address to your blog. So let's type learning theme development and it's not available. So let's add some numbers over here. All right, this blog address is available. Now ideally you need to have a shorter URL for your website but uh, since we are just testing it out we will just keep it as it is and uh, we'll click on save. And that's it our blog has been created. We have this name over here learning theme development and there are no posts as of now. And here are all the options that blogger provides for making customizations and uh, checking out the statistics of our website. So for testing, we'll just create one post. So click on new post. And I'll just name this blog post one. We'll add some random text over here. So if you go to this website called lipsum.com, you can just copy some random text from here. So just click on generate lorem ipsum. And uh, we'll just copy some text from here. And I will paste it over here. And then click on publish. And confirm All right our blog post has been created now let's go to the theme and let's see which theme is being applied now the theme we have by default is called contempo light this is a theme provided by blogger itself and uh, you can find a lot of themes over here but we are going to create our own theme first of all let's check how our website looks right now so for that you can just click on this button called view blog and this is how our website looks right now this is our blog post. If you go to the post, you can see the post over here. All right, now let's remove all the code that we have in this theme and uh, let's learn some basics of Blogger. So click on this arrow next to customize and then click on edit HTML. And then we'll just go ahead and delete everything. So control A to select all and then just press delete. So we don't have any code right now in our theme. Now a Blogger theme is basically created using a language called XHTML. So it is basically XML with uh, some capabilities of HTML. So what we can do is we can add HTML and CSS and JavaScript as well in uh, this same file over here. And we can use some blogger specific code in XHTML. So now let's copy and paste the HTML from our design. So this is our HTML. So let me just copy this and uh, we'll paste it over here. And I'll just delete everything inside the body so that nothing is left in the design. 
So right now we just have the structure of our HTML and we don't have any content. We'll also remove this link from here because it is not relevant anymore. All right, now let's click on save theme and we can see an error over here. So let's just make this in one line and wherever we have the ampersand, we just have to type AMP semicolon. So we'll do that here as well. Ampersand AMP semicolon. So in XML, you cannot just type ampersand. To type that, you have to type ampersand AMP semicolon. Alright, now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to add a skin in our uh, blogger template. So it is compulsory. So let me show you how to add a skin. You have to go into the head section. So this is the head section. And uh, here we'll create a skin. So to create a skin, you have to type less than B colon skin greater than. So here we are opening this uh, skin tag. Now let's close it over here. So we'll type less than forward slash b colon skin and greater than so this is how skin is created and in that we also need to add some more code so here we'll type less than exclamation square brackets and in that you have to type c data and also add square brackets over here and we'll just close this and here we will add greater than now this is where all our css will go so what our css we have in our design will be pasted over here inside the C data. All right, now let's save and see what else we need to have. All right, now the next task is to add at least one section in our theme. So for that, we'll go to the body section and to create a section, you have to type less than B colon section and you have to have an ID for a section. So we'll type ID equals and we'll just type test and we'll just close the section over here. Now sections in a blogger theme are basically containers. So you can have a section for the header and in the header you can have widgets. So widgets are basically the code that displays something on your blogger theme. You cannot directly have widgets in your theme. You have to have a section and in the section you can create widgets. All right, so we have created a section. Now let's click on save and see whether we get some more error. And now we can see it says update successful. So we don't have any errors in our theme. Now what you need to do is uh, you have to just refresh this page. And here we can see we already have some code generated by the blogger theme itself. And we have a line of code over here for the XML. And we also have this line of code. So these both lines of code have been generated. Now, if we view our website, it will look blank. So let's go back and let's click on view blog. And I will also open edit HTML in another tab. All right, so this is our website as of now, and we don't have anything being displayed. It is completely blank. So let's go over here and let's create an H1 and see whether it works. So let's create an H1 tag and we'll just type hi guys and close the h1 tag over here now this is complete html so now let's save this theme and see whether we have this heading displayed on our website so let's refresh our website and we can see hi guys is being displayed so this is the first time we have displayed something on our website on a blogger template so in this way you can add any html over here and any css inside the c data and uh, you will have that displayed over here on your website now, one of the major parts of a blogger template is the ability to add widgets. Now, there are different types of widgets. There's a widget for header, there's a widget for blog, there's a widget for popular posts, search bar, and a lot of things. And there's also a widget for plain HTML. So let me show you how to create a widget for header. Now, to add a widget, you have to first of all create a section. So we'll type B section, and we'll get an ID of header container and uh, we'll close the section over here right in this section we'll create a widget so in for the widget we have the same syntax b colon widget now for the widget you have two necessary attributes you need to add the first one is the id so we'll give it an id of header one and the next one is the type and we'll give it a type of header 
and we'll close the widget over here now with this widget the header should be shown on our website so let's save this and let's refresh our page and we can see that the heading of our website is being displayed let's also add the subheading so let's go to the blogger dashboard and uh, let's go to settings and here we can see the title let's also add a description and we'll add some description over here let's click on save and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see the heading and the description of our website is being displayed over here now let's go back to our template and uh, let's refresh this page and we can see we have a lot more code than what we had written in our theme so whenever we add a particular type of widget in our blogger theme it automatically generates the default code for the widget and we don't have to write everything from scratch now we can just go ahead and make some changes in uh, this widget and make it look like we want it to look so here is all the code that we have for the widget here are some if conditions so if you want to write an if condition in a blogger theme you have to type this uh, line of code and in place of this you have to add your condition and then here we can see we have one more if condition and then we have this HTML so we have these divisions and we also have an h1 and then here we include the title so there are two things called includable and include so here we can see we have include and then we have a name and then we have this uh, value and what is happening over here is that we have already declared something called title as an includable and then we are including it over here in the h1 so let's search where we have written the includable for title so if we scroll down we can see we have an includable with the id of title so whenever we write this code include name title then these lines of code will be included in that place so in this way you can divide your theme into different parts and uh, it'll be easier for you to manage everything so here we have another includable called description and we can see it is being included over here and also up here All right now let's quickly create one more section and uh, we will add a widget called blog which is a very important widget for any blogger theme it displays all the blog posts of your blog so let's create a section and we'll give it an id of blog container and let's close the section over here and in that we'll create a widget so we'll type b colon widget and we'll give it an id of blog1 and the type will be blog and we'll close it over here All right now let's click on save and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see our blog post is being displayed over here and we also have some details of the blog post and when we click on the blog post the actual post is being displayed and we also have the ability to add comments and the heading becomes a link so when we click on that it takes us back to the index page now let me show you one last thing about a blogger theme which is used frequently first of all let's refresh this page so that we can see the generated code and we can see this is the generated code that we have for the blog widget it is a lot of code we also have some javascript All right now let me show you something which is used a lot in a blogger theme development so it is the if conditionals so let's test it out We'll create an if condition by typing b colon if and then you have to type c o n d equals and in this you have to type the condition so we'll create a condition where we want to display index when we are on a page type of index so in the condition you have to type data colon blog dot page type and we'll check whether it is equal to the index page so he will type equals equals index and we'll close the if condition over here and what will we type inside this uh, if block will be displayed when the page is an index page index page is basically the page where all the blog posts are displayed so here we'll create an s3 and we'll just type index page so whenever we have the index page we will have this uh, line of code displayed all right so let's save this theme 
now let's go to our website and let's refresh our page and we can see it says index page because we are on the index page now let's go to a blog post and now it is not being displayed because this is not an index page so this is how an if condition works in a blogger website let me show you one more if condition so let's copy this and paste it over here and uh, let's set this to error page so whenever the error page or the 404 page is displayed we will have something written so we will type 404 page and uh, let's save it so let's refresh our page and the index is being displayed but the 404 page is not being displayed now let's add some random page so we'll just type something over here and i'll just hit enter and we can see 404 page is being displayed so that's basically how you use if conditions for your blogger theme so these are basically the basics of a blogger theme so that's basically it for this video from the next video we will start converting our design to a blogger theme and if you have any doubts in this video you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day